Greetings and salutations. In this short tutorial video, we're going to be talking about an R package creation workflow that involves you use this to sort of set up um, an R package and GitHub to actually uh, store our package and share it with the world alongside of um, performing version control actions. First of all, uh, we needed a few different packages to actually uh, develop our packages even more efficiently. Generally, these packages are DevTools, Use This, Test That, and Roxygen 2. Within this video, we're mainly going to be focusing on DevTools and Use This. So, inside of your R session, type out install.packages, parentheses, parentheses, quotations, DevTools, and quotations, and parentheses, and parentheses, and you'll have all of these packages automatically installed. That said, if you feel more comfortable writing out each of the individual packages themselves, go for that as well. So with our packages installed, we sort of have to transition over to um, thinking about GitHub. GitHub is, again, a way to share code that has been versioned. And the first step of this is to sign up for a GitHub account. And you want to sign up for that GitHub account using github.com forward slash join. I recommend picking a username that is either going to be your real name or a nickname that you'd feel comfortable being associated with uh, for all of eternity. Secondly, I recommend in the email address field using an education affiliated domain. In this case, um, it would be ending with a .edu as it'll allow you to get freebies from GitHub a little bit later on. Now, the next part that we have is we need to actually create a Git PAT token. Um, this PAT token, again, is a personal access token and it allows for us to uh, work with GitHub uh, through the command line, or in this case, just to automate as many different um, uh, work options as we possibly can. Where it says note, uh, you really sort of are creating a token name for yourself. Uh, this name should generally be um, given to whatever project you're anticipating using the token in. And you also want to make sure that you're setting a permission scope to just the repositories for uh, modifying um, content. There are a lot of other different permissions that are available, but generally these are the ones that you want to be setting. So with that being said, let's actually switch over to GitHub and see what that looks like. So here uh, we're on GitHub's uh, creation page for a new personal access token. This is at github.com forward slash settings forward slash tokens forward slash new. This assumes that you're logged into GitHub underneath the GitHub account that you just created for yourself. So again, uh, in the note field, what we're going to do is we're going to give a very descriptive name to the token. In this case, I'm going to say this is going to be a demo pat video um, token. From there, what I'll do is I'll select the repo option. Notice when I click the repo checkbox, we also have the uh, checkboxes um, filled in immediately underneath it. So I've effectively said this token will allow for full control over my repositories. Once that's done, we want to scroll all the way down to the end of the page and we want to click on the generate token. When we generate a new token, uh, GitHub will ask us to uh, type in our password again because these tokens sort of are directly tied to what our user account is allowed to do on GitHub. So it's very important that if when you're creating a new token, um, it is indeed the underlying user that's making it and not somebody else. So, and then press confirm. You'll notice here that we have a, a token name uh, that was generated. These token names will, or these 
token values, I should say, will never, ever, ever again be shown to us. So it's very important that you make a copy of it. And when you make a copy of it, um, you want to use this little clipboard icon. So if we click that, we instantly have it copied. You should write this token down either on a scratch piece of paper uh, or you should send it as an email to yourself. With the token in hand, we're going to go over to our RStudio session. Inside of our studio, we're going to type use this and then edit underscore r underscore environ. This will allow us to open up the r environment file and create a variable for our GitHub token. So in the dot r environment file that opened in the top left, we're going to type out GitHub underscore token equals quotation and from the github token pat creation process we're going to paste the token that we generated using either command v or control v depending on if you're on a mac or on windows once that's done we're going to save it and then we'll have to close out of our studio and restart it.